Good afternoon, South Africa, and welcome to your Friday edition of Afternoon Express. My name is Danilo Aquisto. Of course, and I'm Bonnie Mbouli. Welcome indeed. We're one weekend away from spring, and we're also in the final week of Women's Month, so we'll be chatting to some really amazing and powerful female voices. So how about we kick it off with one of the ladies who's absolutely blowing up on the silver screen at the moment. She's an incredible actress. Her mm -hmm. name is Nomzamo Mbata. Mm -hmm. She stars alongside her real-life boyfriend, Maps Maponyane, in her brand new film, Tell Me Sweet Something. Her interview is coming up in the next few minutes. I never said that. You said it. Yeah, okay? I did. Let's just let it be on record. <laughs> we also have a few young ladies from Junior Achievement South Africa, an organization that skills young people in entrepreneurial and life skills, and just to give them a better understanding of the business world. Plus, all your usuals in the kitchen. Joining us is Jeannie D. Welcome back to Afternoon Express, South Africa. I am terribly excited to be in the loft today because we're speaking about a topic that's very close to my heart. And being Women's Month, we're also speaking about it from a female angle. Now, Junior Achievers SA is an organization aimed at preparing young people for life after school by teaching them entrepreneurial and life skills, providing them with an understanding of the business world and enhancing their sense of personal responsibility through practical business experience. Now, joining us in the loft are two promising young ladies who are currently enrolled in the program for from Spine Road High in Cape Town. Alex and Mumtaz, a very warm welcome to The Loft. Thank you. So ladies, first of all, I want to say a big congratulations for taking a step like this in terms of preparing for your futures. First, tell us a bit more, Alex, about this program. Uh, what exactly is it? It basically preps us for what to expect after high school and gives us more of exposure and mm. experience and we gain more skill sets during, throughout this program. Amazing. Mumtaz, why did you choose to get involved in this? What is there to gain? Well, I'm personally interested in becoming an entrepreneur after high school and so for me it's basically teaching me the basic skills that you need to know before becoming, deciding to become an entrepreneur. Mm. So what are you guys hoping to gain from this experience? Because I mean, there's lots of things to learn. Everyone wants to be an entrepreneur, own their own business, become a CEO, but it really is about that grind, groundwork and that practical application. What are you hoping to gain? Well, throughout the program, I've already gained more confidence in myself mm. and innovativity, I would say. That's yeah. enough, I think, to gain. <laughs> I'd like to gain all of those things too. And I'm, I'm a lot older than you guys are. Uh, Mumtaz, what are you hoping to gain? I'm hoping to gain to the ability to think out of the box, basically look into the market and seeing a gap and seeing mm. where you can be innovative and come up with new products or service to give to the community. Sure. So what are some of the skills that you, you're going to be involved with learning about? Well, with us we have like making the making of jewellery because my business focuses on jewellery. Oh, wow. So then now we work with beads and mm. different things like that. And also we gain more of a business but um, perspective mm -hmm. as to financial management and sales management and all of okay. that. Because obviously I've had a limited experience but I'm very passionate about entrepreneurship and there's a lot going on in our country around legislation and all of that red tape. You guys are being given a head start in, in terms of this. What are you learning at the moment, Mumtaz, about your business? Well, personally, my group, I'm the production manager, so I'm learning how to take charge of things, making sure that the quality of each product is mm. correct, making sure that everyone knows what they're doing and know how to do it and basically giving a good quality product to consumers. Sure. Do you learn the hard things like drawing up a business plan, yeah. finding funding, do you learn those kinds of skills? Yes, yes. we do. We are actually prepped in that. Oh, really? From the get-go? Yeah. And I think that's a very important basic, I think, to get started with, hey? Yes. Cool. So why don't you guys leave school? What business do you want to start? Well, I would obviously like to go study more in marketing mm -hmm. and then I would first try and give back to the community what I've learned from the JI program sure. and then I would like to open my own business and help with our community. Amazing. Mumtaz? I'd like to open up my own digital marketing business campaign but also as you said involving the community a lot because yeah. I think it will empower people and motivate them to also study further. Mm. So Mumtaz you seem very focused uh, about the stuff and I'm very excited to see that because you've got the right mindset to be an entrepreneur. How do I get involved as a young South African who's maybe in high school and wants to get involved in a campaign like yours? Is it only focused on Cape Town and the Western Cape? Can other people get involved? Do you know? I'm not quite sure about if it's only focused on Western Cape but I, they, this year they have um, brought, blah, made it a bit bigger, open for people to, not only business and economics people can join, so basically it's open to everyone that's interested in opening up their own business 
in the future. Well, ladies, thank you so much for joining us in the loft and good luck for the rest of your businesses as you guys grow older. Uh, and, and Entrepreneur must know a lot about current affairs. Finger on the pulse at all times. So you guys keen to play a game? Sure. Yeah. All right, let's go do it. Let's win some chocolates. Now, the battle between the young and the old to see who has the greater knowledge has gone on for far too long. Well, today we're going to settle the score in a game of spin the chocolate wheel. We welcome back our guests Leanne van Roy and Candy Mukwena, who will compete against Alex and Mumtaz for the ultimate lint creation prize. Now the game is pretty simple, ladies. You see the wheel in front of you. Mm -hmm. Each wheel is associated with a different color, right? Mm -hmm. There's a color orange, which is a general knowledge question, and that is creme brulee flavored chocolate, all right? Purple is the entertainment section, right? Chocolate fondant is the chocolate you could win. Yellow is history and geography, which is lemon sorbet. And then blue is sports, which is divine hazelnut. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to allow each team to spin the wheel once. A correct answer wins you the associated chocolate. An incorrect answer means I minus the chocolate from what's inside your bag already. All right. Okay. So ladies, are you willing to show us that you're actually not as old as people might think you are? We're actually eternally young. Mm. All right. So I'm going to let the girls, the youngsters, start off first. Mumtaz, would you spin the wheel first for your first question? Which color is it going to land on? Will it be orange, purple, yellow, or blue? It is not stopping. It is stopping on purple. All right in the middle? No, we're yellow. We're yellow. All right, your yellow question's history and geography for a lemon sorbet chocolate. Let's choose a question. Who is the deputy president of South Africa? I'm not going to give you much longer to consult. You may consult quickly. Want to take a guess? Three, you want to know? two, know. one. Take a guess. I want a uh, name. Um. Eh, too long. I'm going to minus the chocolate oh. from your packet. Oh. Sorry, ladies. The correct so answer is Cyril, Cyril Ramaphosa. Ramaphosa. We should have asked the ladies that question, right? Mm -hmm. We should have asked you that one. Spin the wheel. Okay. For your question. Oh, my God. It is a... Oh. Yellow question. So it's again, okay, history yeah, and geography for lemon, lemon sorbet. Your question is, who was the first state president of South Africa? Baba. Want to try candy? Mandela. Are you going to go with that answer? Mm. The first, first state president of oh. South Africa. Uh, no, oh, don't know. No. Don't know? Don't yes, know? Yeah, no. Cool. Yeah, Either no. way, it's incorrect. Your answer was Charles Roberts Swart. Yeah. Uh -uh. I did not even Before know that answer. Time. Before I'm time. sorry. I'm coming ah, to steal a chocolate from oh you. Oh, my God. Cool. That's one done. <laughs> Ladies, you're welcome to spin the wheel again. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try and get you some more chocolates into these bags. I want a correct answer. Oh, we might even be going with... Mm. Mm. Okay. Purple. Purple is entertainment. All right, so you guys should yeah. be able to get this one. Your question is, which ironically named rapper recently declared bankruptcy? Take a guess. It's iron which ironically named rapper recently declared blank ba bankruptcy? Would that be 50 Cent? Is that your final answer? That's our final answer. It is correct. Yeah. Congratulations. So you guys get yourselves a lovely chocolate fondant. I'm adding to a bag. You guys can put it in there for me. All right, our oldies. <laughs> Spin me. the wheel sorry, again. Sorry. Until you it's go, proven to me otherwise. 28, by the way. <laughs> 28. Okay. Go. Orange. Lucky spin. You want to eat orange, which is general knowledge. Mm. Mm. Let's hope. Let's hope. Mm. Yo. And it happens to be blue. Sure. All right, your blue is sports. Yo. To win divine <laughs> hazelnut, ladies. You must oh be very nervous God. about this one. Mm. Your question is. Who is the current female number one tennis player? Serena Williams. Is that your final answer, team? Mm, yeah. Yes. That answer is correct. Oh. Congratulations, Serena Williams, it is. You win yourself. Oh, I'm choosing the wrong you. color. Yeah, you guys do win this one, actually. Yeah. Yes. Okay, you can okay. put your two in. No, no. No, no, no. It's fine. You I'll can't let your age work for you as your benefit. Oh, my God. Ladies, spin the wheel. I tried, I tried. Which one are you hoping for? Orange, purple, yellow, blue? Purple. Purple. So you want to get entertainment mm. for a chocolate fondant? Hmm, yeah. it is. Mm -hmm. Not orange, it's going back down. What is what it is going to settle on? We're settling on 
I can't actually see the pin. There we go. It's going to settle on yellow, which means you've got history and geography again. This seems to be your favorite category. <laughs> your question is, how many colors are there in the South African flag? Six. Mm. Is that your final answer? It was unanimous? Yes. Correct. Six it is. Fun. You guys win yourselves a lemon sorbet chocolate. Well done. Come on, ladies. Come on. One more spin from you two. Okay. Let's try and see if you can redeem yourselves. Do two oh, hands. Maybe two hands. One, two. two, three, go. I'm hoping for something purple, entertainment focused, or blue sport for them again to make it hard. Okay. It's supposed to be on our side. <laughs> I'll give you an extra 10 seconds. I know how long it takes to process as you can. Oh, oh, All right, oh, orange. Oh, oh, which oh, happens oh. to be general knowledge. You wanted this one, candy. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, oh. Your general knowledge question is mm. do penguins. Have knees, yes or no? <laughs> mm -hmm. You can consult. I know you need a bit of time. That again, please? Do penguins have knees, yes or no? They're birds. Just... They're birds. So let's just no. like uh, we are not sure. No. <laughs> so I don't get an answer. You either have to be yes or no. 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 Yeah. No. 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 Yes. Huh? Yes, it's no. no. Yes, yes, you win. No. Yes, no. Yes, yes, you get it. Yes. No, uh, you guys get it. Yes. It's absolutely fine. You won it. Well done. Ah! You guys say that's correct. Ah, yeah. Penguins do not have yeah. knees. They that's don't. Right. They're like more trees. <laughs> well yeah. done. You guys can give each other a high five or a round of applause or a handshake or whatever it might be. It's proven that they do not have to know it all at their age. Don't forget, South Africa, after the break, Candy performs live in our loft. You don't want to miss out on that. But it's not only our guests that are winners on this show. If you would like to win a selection of Lint Creation chocolates, simply SMS the keyword Lint and your name to 33728 to enter. That's Lint and your name to 33728. We'll be back after this.